Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be my May TBR. So I've been gone for like a month, okay, like I went on a little vacation, you know, some things happened, I said the bit I do, I got married and everything, you know, I'm show y'all some pictures. You know, so I took a little month off. I didn't really read that much last month, getting everything ready for the wedding and stuff. Well, that's out the way now, and I, I really didn't read that much. I think I read two books last month, maybe two books, two or three, but I'm pretty sure it's two. But um, yeah, so I'm back. Uh, I'm going to film like a collective wrap-up video, and I'm just run through the books that I read from, I think, from March till now at the end of april i mean at the end of may yeah so it'll be march april and may and i'll like run through march and april and get more in depth with whatever i read this month in may because i like um i read like i didn't i haven't done a wrap up since february february i think was the last month did i even do a wrap up for february i think i did but i'm not sure if not i'll just include all that in the collective wrap up just so y'all caught up on what i read or y'all can just go over to goodreads because i stay pretty up to date with goodreads or my blog and i put on there everything i read in my reviews and all that so y'all can check that out i do have another video that i'm gonna upload after i upload this video it's a pre-recorded video i recorded like a while ago it's either the book review for the bells or the hate you give one of those but um i'm gonna go through and edit it and i'm gonna upload that after this video just so y'all can have a hands up that that video is an old video and that's not nothing new so now for may i'm calling this my mayhem may tbr i wanted to get out of the way uh, a lot of my new release books that i have acquired since the beginning of the year that i haven't read like i haven't read any of my new releases except for the bells and that's because i had an art copy of that but i'm not going to buy any more new releases well that's kind of a lie because i already pre-ordered warstorm which is coming out on the 15th that's in five days i'm super excited but um I'm gonna try to get through all of them this month so that way I have a clean slate and I'm actually reading the new releases and not just buying them and they sitting on the shelf so that's what this month is for even though I do have a couple books that's not new releases but they're on here for a reason okay so this month's TBR is an agenda like I got stuff to do this month like it's like I got a list and I gotta check them off so that's out of the way so First, I'm going to start off with the book that I'm currently reading, and that's King's Cage by Victoria Aviar. No, I didn't read this like I've been said. This has been on my TBR every month like this year, and I haven't read it. But um, I'm reading it now, currently reading it. Uh, I want to be finished this in five days when Warstorm come out. So that's kind of my goal is to finish this in five days, which I'm pretty sure I can if I actually read. It's just every time I get ready to sit down and open this and read this, I get scared and I get like anxiety like readers anxiety because like I don't want anything to happen to like my favorite characters and I just feel like it's gonna be some bullshit in this book so I really just been like I'll open it I'll read like a page and I'm like okay I'm gonna read something else I can't so I'm just sit down and power through it and get through it and I saw they have a, um, an audio book on Hoopla which y'all should check out if y'all looking for like something that y'all can listen to audio books and ebooks and just read for free because it's linked with your library check it out see your library has it um but this is what i'm currently reading and i'm going to be finished this by the end of the week by the time i get war storm in the mail then the next book on my tv which i'm not probably not going to read this in the order that i'm spitting them out so i'm just this is just the order they're stacked in but the next book that i have is the last to let go by amber smith this is one of my new releases that i haven't picked up yet this is the second book i think that she has put out the first book was the way i used to be and it isn't a continuation it isn't part of a series you know but it kind of looks like and i the name the titles kind of go hand in hand but this is actually about a character who um her mom actually kills her abusive father and they get home from school and they don't know what happened they don't know if it was self-defense or if she just woke up it was just like i'm about to end this right now and you're done and I think it's like her senior year or her sophomore year in high school and they're in this new town. She thought she was going to have a fresh start and now all of this has happened. So she's left with her siblings to really fend for themselves because their mom goes to jail. And that's what this is about. Excited to read it. Then the next book I have is Paper Towns by John Green. Y'all know this is not a new release, but I'm reading this for a book club that I am in 
on Goodreads and this is one of the group reads and this is the first time I'm participating in a group read and I've been in this I've been in this book club for maybe a couple months and this is the first time I'm participating in a group, group read but that's because this is a book that I already have sitting on my shelf so I'm like yeah I've been trying to get to it what better way to get to it than now when I have people to read with y'all know I love doing buddy reads I did my first one last year and I loved every second of it it was freaking amazing get out <laughs> no, this is the first time I've sit down to film in like in over a month. Don't move my camera. Ooh. This is the first time I've sit down to film in a month and then you walk in on me filming. This is the closest you're gonna get to be in the video. <laughs> Hurry up. That's different. She can't talk. Embarrass it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so like I was saying, this is part of my book club group read and this is my first John Green. I'm a little nervous because everybody always say he's a love. You either love him or you hate him. There's like no in between. You either love his book or you hate it. There's no mixed feelings. And like I want to read, I I wanted to read this, and I really want to read the fault a fault in our stars, which everybody says is like that book, but this one is like iffy. So we'll see. Then the next book I have on my list is Forgive Me, Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick, and this book is also something that I'm reading for that group for that book club um they did a thing it's like a buddy reads thing where you put your name if you want a buddy read and what you do is with whoever you're like randomly paired with you swap books it's like you pick out a book that you've read already that you really liked and you recommend it to that person and then they pick out a book that they've already read and that they really like and they recommend it to you you guys read each other books you don't have to reread your book you read each other books and then you sit down and you talk about what you what you thought about each other books pretty much so what i did was i went through her list and i just tried to pick something that was that we both had a common like and so i ended up i think i gave her and i darken by kirsten white and i love that fucking book and I, it was on her to read so i was like you need to read it it's really good and that's the book i gave her this is the book she gave to me and i'm freaking excited like this sounds really it sounds like it's gonna be really emotional but it sounds like, I like books like that because there's a lot of drama going on. It's basically about this boy Leonard and I guess he's going through a tough time at school and he decides to bring his grandfather or his father or his uncle, somebody's gone to school and he plans on shooting up the school and shooting himself. And his books follow him as he goes to his best friends and tells them goodbye, I guess in some kind of way. I don't know if they're going to figure it out and stop him or not, I don't know. So we're going to see. Um, yeah, it sounds pretty Deep. so uh, yeah finally getting to this because this we like set this up months ago and I always put it on my TBR every month and I never got to it so this is the month I'm going to get to it because it's really short I like it's, it's really short it's hella short and the words are, uh, are big pretty big and it don't take up the whole page so I could read this I think I could read this in two days yeah I'm pretty sure I could read this in two days it's only I, I don't think it hits 300 pages it's only 200 and something pages so I'm pretty sure I could read this pretty fast if you've read this let me know you know what should I be bracing myself for stuff like I love emotional books I don't have any trigger warnings so don't worry about that just let me know was it worth the read like is it good or not let me know the next book on my list is The Poet X by Elizabeth <laughs> I can't I don't know how to say your last name like I listen to people say your last name but I just I don't know I can't do it so this is by Elizabeth and this is a new release and I'm super excited for this book I'm so freaking excited for this book like I got the Target edition. It was this exclusive edition. I don't know what about it. It's I think it has extra poems and stuff in it. You know, I'm excited. Like I'm so excited to read this book. Um, this is probably going to be one of the first books I'm read. I think I'm going to end up reading my new releases in the order they came out, just to be fair about them, because I want to read all of them. I'm excited to read all of them, so I can't say which one I'm most excited about. I'm just going to read them in the order that they came out, make it fair, make it equal. So. Super excited. If you haven't heard about this book, I don't know the fuck is wrong with you. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen like a big swarm of people on booktube talking about it, which shocks the shit out of me, but not my business. I am so excited for this. It is poetry. It's about this girl, Siamara. I hope I'm saying her name right. It's Siamara, and it's about her like coming of age, growing into her body, noticing that she actually has a body and guys are hitting on her and you know having to deal with her overly religious mother about 
you know, this is the way of our people and it's, it's a bunch of stuff like that and it's just her poems, how she found poetry and how to express herself but her mother doesn't know that she's writing these poems and, you know, going to these like slam poetry kind of things. I'm excited. I'm not good at explaining how the book is about but you get the gist of it and you should, guys should go check it out. Like, go see what it is. Go read the synopsis of it. It's, I think it's going to be amazing. I can't, read, can't wait to read it. If I don't get to anything else this month, I'm going to get to this because it's poetry and you know, I could get through. It's written, it's actually written in poetry like form like so i'm pretty sure i'll get through this quicker than anything so if it comes down to it this will definitely get read out of all of the books this month definitely then the next book i have is a book that is taking book two by wave which it was doing that before it even came out and that is children of blood and bone by tommy and Amy. And I'm super excited to read this book. Like, I'm just, just, I hear so many good things about this book. I hear it's like really like high fantasy and a lot of violence and just a lot of action. Just a lot of shit that I like to read in a book. Like, because y'all know when I read a book, I love reading a book that almost is like an action movie. Like, well, fantasy, because I love fantasy. So when I read a fantasy book, I love to be able to read it, but look at it like a movie too. Like, I feel like I'm reading a movie. And that's, I, I'm so excited. I'm just super excited. I've had, I've heard people compare this to an ember in the ashes and I love the ember in the ashes like they had my heart pumping the whole book so i'm super excited to read this book like i'm like y'all don't have y'all have no idea like i'm looking at the fan art and stuff on um instagram and i'm like i don't even know these characters because i haven't read the book like i only know her that's the only character i know when i see it in a drawing because she's the main character I'm like i gotta get into this book like i have to have to have to have to so i can like join in with the geeked outness so i'm like so excited to read this don't I'm not even going to try to sit here and explain what it is. Like, it's just, it's it's action and love in a book. Like, you know, it's like a book love child. Like, y'all need to, that's how I'm hearing it explained. And that better be what it is when I read it. But I'm like, super bucked up to read this. You know, if y'all don't know what it's about, y'all haven't seen this book or heard about this book yet. I really don't know where y'all been. Because it's literally all over BookTube, all over Twitter, all over Instagram, book community wise. Like, it's everywhere. So, Go and look it up and see if this is something, because I know a lot of people not into fantasy, but this might be your thing, because it's a lot of, like, action and drama in this book. So I'm just, I'm super excited, so can't wait to read this either. And then the last book I have on my TBR, and it's uh, a new release. This is the first book that I got this year, I think. Um, the first new release I got this year. And that is Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh. Yeah, this is the first book I got this year. I think so this will probably be the next book I read after I'm done with King's Cage just because you know it's first in line um and this book is pretty much zombies and royalty and court drama and bullshit and all of that in the book like that's pretty much what it is it's about this girl Odessa and she's a master necromancer so she could bring people back from the dead okay and she gets chosen to work in the court and in the court they bring back like all the important nobles they bring them back to life but the catch with it is once you are brought back to life you have to keep your skin covered if you if your skin is revealed at any point you are turned into a zombie but they call them shades and what goes wrong in this book is somebody is purposely making an army of shades purposely and the thing is they're trying to find out who's doing it and why they're doing it and it's pretty much up to odessa to pretty much decide all of this and there's going to be some kind of you know uh, of course when it's like something like a royal court there's always some kind of conspiracy going on so it's going to be juicy and drama filled and i just like that they got zombies in it it's been a while since i read a book with zombies in it like it really has been a long time it's been a while since i watched a movie with zombies in it to be honest but i'm excited about this it's a very beautiful book as y'all can tell but yeah this will probably be the next book i read i'm probably going to read it in order by release dates just so I don't have to really sit here and choose which one I'm more excited for. I lied. I do. I have one more book on my list and it is a new release. I don't know if it came out yet. I don't know if it came out yet. But I have an arc from, I have an e-arc from that Gala. That's the only book I don't physically have with me because the e-arc is on my Kindle. But it's called Fresh Ink by a bunch, uh, by 12 different authors. It's an anthology. And I don't know exactly what it's exactly surrounding. I know it's supposed to be something centered around diversity. But what it is, is it's 10 different short stories. It's a graphic novel and I think 
a act. I think it's like a play. A, a, you know what I mean, like an act or a play, whatever. But it's a mixture of stuff. Y'all know I've really been into short stories lately. I've just been really trying to find a, a good collection of short stories that I'm really interested in. So we'll see about this. I don't know if it came out yet. I don't think it came out yet. But I did see this on booktube a little while ago people talking about it but not recently but um that's on my list that's my last new release that's all the books i have on my tbr but there is something i want to show y'all it's not uh something on my tbr it's just something i've been saying i want to get around to and i finally got it i got me a planner y'all know i'm trying to plan out my life you know and get organized like i i, I don't say i don't have ocd but i like to have plans like i like to plan stuff out as much as i can i'm not one of those people that if it's not in the plan and i'm not doing it i'm not like that i just like to have something to go along with because i will make up in my mind oh i want to do this on june 15th but i won't write it down and then june 15th comes and goes and i'm like oh shit i wanted to do this yesterday right like i wanted to participate in this and i forgot about it and it's gone so um, having a planner will keep me better with that because when I was in school and I had to have a planner and actually, you know, plan our classes and tests, that did, I actually did look at it more than I looked at the calendar on my phone and it kept me up to date more and it kept me on track with shit I wanted to do and it didn't just come and go and it's like, well, that's something I'll never do now because time has passed. So, it's very cute. I got this from Michaels. I always wanted to get me a cute planner. Like, I've been searching for months just for a cute planner on Amazon. I've seen a lot of cute ones, but in my like I can't physically see the size of it and I wanted a full size one like this I didn't want a little tiny one I want like a full size one and it's like I could never tell looking on Amazon so I went to Michaels and by chance found this even though that's not what I went in there for but I was like I look every time I'm going there because I know they have cute planners and I was like fuck it right it got unicorns in it like the glitter moves and shit like I'm like a big kid this is it's just a very cute planner I didn't get any any stickers to go in it. I um I got a stencil. I put it in here, but I got a stencil to where I could like draw out check boxes and stuff. And it actually came. It came with some stickers, like um like this. It came with some stickers for you to decorate if if you if that's what you want to do. And I, I of course I am because I like my stuff to be colorful. It makes me want to look at it more when it's decorated. They just plain old boring. Um, but yeah, I'm about to start planning my stuff out because I have a couple things already that I am doing so far up to like August. So, and it starts in July. It starts from, it's, it starts from July and goes all the way to December of 2019. So, it, a pretty hefty plan and I like that. I don't know if I will be able to like, when I'm done with it, reuse it. I don't know. Because it don't look like the pages just come out. But I might, I don't know, I'll look into that. But that's all I have for y'all today. I did film a haul a while ago too. But I went back to look at it and it the lighting is terrible. And I'm not getting all that stuff back out to refilm that haul. So that is a haul that y'all are going to miss out on. But that's all I have for y'all today. Thank y'all for watching my video. I missed y'all. Hope y'all miss me. And I will see y'all later. Bye. I woke up in Chris Brown's body oh, yeah. So how this shit turned into Freaky Friday